And he's conceding one stone nine to his pursuer, Crisp. It's Crisp in the lead from Red Rum, but Red Rum still making ground on him. Brown Fletcher on Red Rum, chasing Dick Pickman on Crisp. Crisp still well clear with two fences left to jump in the 1973 National. And this great Australian chaser, Crisp, with 12 stone on his back and 10 stone five on the back of Red Rum, who's chasing him. And they look to have it absolutely to themselves at the second last. And Crisp is over and clear of Red Rum, who's just jumping it a long way back in third. Our Spanish steps and Hurricane Rock and Rouge Autumn and then Lascago but coming to the final fence in the National now and it's Crisp still going in great style with 12 stories back he jumps it well Red Rum is about 15 lengths behind him as he jumps it and Dick Pittman coming to the elbow now in the National he's got 250 yards to run and Crisp just wandering a little off a two line now he's beginning to lose concentration he's been out there on his own for so long and Red Rum is making ground on him still as they come to the line it's a hunt for a longer run now 200 yards now for Crisp and Red Rum still closing on him and Crisp is getting very tired and Red Rum is pounding after him. Red Rum is the one that's finishing the strongest. He's going to get up. Red Rum is going to win the national and at the line Red Rum has just snatched it from Crisp and Red Rum is the winner. Passing him all the time and trying to get up on the inside with Charter Party third. Desert Orchid and Yahoo now as they race round the home turn. There's very little between them. Yahoo on the far side. He's gone on now from Desert Orchid towards the near side. Yahoo from Desert Orchid and Desert Orchid looks as though he's tiring in the ground. Yahoo who loves the mud is full of running at the second last. Yahoo jumps from Desert Orchid, but Desert Orchid is running. He's trying to come again towards the near side. It's Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid towards the near side. Desert Orchid's accelerating as they come to the last. Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid on the And then Porsa system now under pressure and Foljana still travels well as well. Well, Persian Punch is going to have to really dig deep here because the others are going very well at this stage. But Stamina is the leader's forte as they run towards the final three furlongs and we know that he will keep going. It's Persian Punch by a length to Kastari. Millenary is just cantering, pootling along over on the far side. But will he get the trip? Savannah Bay, Kastari hangs left. Persian Punch in the centre. Millenary challenging on the far side. Then in behind them, Fold. Janna's still got a chance, followed by Savannah Bay and Porsa Sixthum. They run down into the dip. Malenary is taking it up now. Fold Janna looks the danger. Persian Punch battling on. And Castari out wide. Almost four in a line. All four under maximum pressure. And Persian Punch is rallying very gamely on the near side of Malenary. Fold Janna between them. Persian Punch. He's got his nose in front for Malenary. It's going to be tight. Oh, that's tight. They're about to swing right-handed then with about half a mile left to cover. And up front is Sun Charm that leads them in. Giants Causeway poised to pounce in second place. Saki's back on the fence. Then Fantastic Light Shiva without much racing room. Kalanisi, the green jacket, is picking up Gold Academy and Border Arrow. Saki goes on on the inside of Giants Causeway. Then Fantastic Light. He can't get out on Shiva at the moment. Kalanisi and Border Arrow staying on. They're inside the final two. And now push comes to shove. Saki, he likes a battle on the rail. Giants Causeway. The Mayor Shiva's coming at them and Giants Causeway gets past Saki. But can he hold off? Kalanisi on the outside. Shiva between the pair. It's Giants Causeway. Kalanisi swooping down the outside for the Aga Khan. But Giants Causeway fights back on the far side for George Duffield. They race head to head. Giants Causeway and 53-year-old George Duffield. Two out, many clouds over in front from shut the front door and Centauri were chasing. Royal Knight took it in fourth, then Oscar time followed by Mombeg Dude, Solid Alvarado, and it's many clouds in the colours of Trevor Hemmings who will lead at the final fence in the national. Lands three lengths clear. St. R chases him off towards the elbow. Shut the front door back in third and now looking one pace. Mombeg Dude is staying on in fourth, then Royal Knight and Alvarado just over a furlong to go in the national. Many clouds and 
Lake Nassville, four, maybe five lengths ahead of Centaur. Monbeg Dude is still staying on stoutly as moved into third and then shut the front door. Many clouds. Centaur is trying to get on terms, cutting him back near the line. Many clouds clinging on tenaciously from St. R in the colours of Trevor Hemmings. It's Many Clouds who wins the Krabby's Grand National. Sensation travelling well as they come down to the second last. Travado lands in the lead from Viking flagship and deep sensation. Then behind them come Wonder Man. They're racing round the home turn now and as they do so, deep sensation Travelling very smoothly in the centre over on the far side, Viking flagship on the near side, it's Travado. Travado on the near side, on the far side, Viking flagship between horses, Deep Sensation, a previous winner, over the last, and Travado on the near side, and Deep Sensation, and Viking flagship on the far side, it's Travado on the near side, Deep Sensation in the centre, Viking flagship over on the far side, it's anybody's race as they race to the line, Viking flagship over on the far side, has taken a fractal advantage, Viking flagship has just won it from Travado. Rushed his way through the top and Ruby Walsh draws the whip on Corto Star. Denman powering on down the hill. Leads by three to four from Neptune Colange. Corto Star with a mountain to climb to retain his crown. Denman gallops on towards the next. He's over about eight clear. Neptune Colange, Corto Star, exotic dancer. Took it by the roots. They're now on the home turn. And Denman is ten lengths clear from in second. Ridden along Neptune Colange. Corto Star trying to stay on to second, but see the crown slipping from his grasp. It's Denman facing the Cheltenham Hill, but with a big lead. It's as much as 10 to 12 lengths, and Corto Star is struggling to even get past Neptune Colange. The second last, Denman comes to it, 10 lengths clear, and he's over. Corto Star's moved through into second. Then in third is Neptune Colange. The whip's drawn on Denman. Corto Star staying on, eight lengths between the pair at the last. Denman comes to the final fence. He's over from Corto Star in second. He rushes through the top. Denman is a tired horse. He has 200 yards to travel. Corto Star with eight lengths to find. But Denman and Sam Thomas driven out. Relentless, remorseless, has pounded Corto Star into submission. The answer is Denman. Denman won the Gold Cup from Corto Star. I wonder if Timmy Murphy can conjure anything out of Smarty now as Red Marauder, who was a faller at Beaches earlier, on is the leader here and going about 10 lengths clear. Uh, Red Marauder, a former, he was a faller at Beaches in another year, but Red Marauder into the second last. He's a tired horse, but he's over safely there. His lead is about 15 lengths over Smarty in second place. Blowing winds in third, away behind. Papillon still going as well, but now the final fence. Red Marauder is clear in the Martel Grand National. The last, he's up and over safely. Red Marauder, he's getting a great cheer. What a moment this is for owner trainer Norman Mason and Richard Guest. They're now about 30 lengths clear. Smarty has got over the last as well. He's run a fabulous race in second place, but he's clearly got no more to give. The other two aren't even in sight. Papillon and Blowing Wind hunting round for third place honours only. But well inside the final furlong, it is Red Marauder who is going to win a most astonishing Martel Grand National. A first success in the race will be Richard Guest, second in 92 how he will relish this moment the final few yards and Red Marauder is the winner of the Martel Grand National Smarty has virtually stopped to a walk